Welcome to Crocodile MTG, your home of competitive, constructive play in the modern, standard, and legacy formats. Today's video was brought to you by all our wonderful sponsors, affiliates, and patrons. Thank you so much for supporting the Crocodile MTG channel, and we hope you enjoy today's video. Hello everyone, and welcome to match number one of our sealed Modern Horizons League. Uh, we are on the play, and we drafted a a pretty decent looking ninjutsu deck. Um, so we have two lands here. We don't have any early creatures to come down. Uh, we have one removal spell. I think this hand, because of the frost walking uh, bastion, I think we should mulligan this hand. All right, we have a Defile, we have a Diabolic Edict. Uh, we have Frostwalk again, but that's not as bad. Uh, we're gonna keep this hand. All right, so our opponent kept seven. We're gonna keep, uh, we're gonna put this on the bottom and hopefully we're gonna find a blue source of mana here. And hopefully our two black removal spells will buy us some time. All right, we have a second snow uh, land here, which is pretty decent, especially with the frost walk bastion. All right, it looks like we're playing against a green black deck. Um, so now I have to make a decision if I want to just re kill this now, um, I think I'm going to wait. All right. Frostwalk Bastion is going to come down. This does have Menace, uh, which is a little unfortunate. So it looks like our opponent's playing. Uh... All right. I'm going to go ahead and Diabolic Edict now. Our opponent is playing uh, black, green, white. So it looks like they have their mana spread pretty thin. Um, all right, that's at least a decent card here. And hopefully we can just draw some sort of fourth mana uh, so we can start pumping out two twos. And that might be good enough to help us here. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a 1-1 counter on that creature. Okay. So I'm going to want to defile that as soon as possible. Which is probably going to be the plan here. I'm going to let them cast something first and then we'll, uh, we'll defile it. Our deck is pretty strong, but I'm concerned that we're not hitting our lands. I'm gonna kill the unicorn. Um, hopefully our opponent can't flash anything in. I wanted to do it now in case he had some sort of, uh, if they had some sort of ninjutsu effect. I didn't want to. I didn't want to uh, them to get a free removal spell. All right, here's Fountain of Icker. And down comes Squirrel's Nest. Okay. So while we're pumping out uh, two twos, they're going to be playing. I almost wonder, do I cycle this or do I just play this so I can have Birthing Pod or Birthing Broad on next turn? I guess I just play this. I'm kind of desperate right now for mana and I have something I can sink mana into. So our opponent also has some mana sinks though as well. Uh, they can activate Fountain and make a 3-3 dinosaur. I guess I'll start by seeing how they attack. I'm 
gonna activate Bastion. Hopefully they don't have a removal spell. If they do, hopefully we have a... Uh... Alright, so they have a 5-4 here. It's really unfortunate we're not drawing a blue source. I'd really like to have some of these online. So, exploit when this creature enters the battlefield, you may sack a creature. Um, whenever another creature dies, put a 1 1 counter on it. It gains haste until end of turn if it exploited that creature. Alright. Again, we're kind of. Uh, we almost feel hellbent here, but hellbent would at least give us something to work with. Alright, so we're getting hit for a bunch. Alright, we're going to take three here. I'm going to make a shapeshifter. Alright, here's an outcast. And there's no sense in attacking at the moment, uh, simply because we can't we can't do anything productive with that. It'd be nice to uh, draw a blue source of mana. Enters the battlefield under your control. It gains trample and indestructible. Alright. So our opponent's kind of on a pretty big beatdown plan at the moment. What I really need to do is draw a blue source of mana. Not what I'm looking for. I can't block, so I might as well attack with my changeling. Uh, they do have a combo here with uh, with elk and the squirrel's nest. I don't think we're going to be able to beat it. Oh my goodness, and they have Deep Forest Hermit. They have all the good rares here. I'm really sad that our deck didn't work out. All right, does it even matter here? Because do we just want to block with a Changeling? Let's think how we're blocking here. We're blocking two here. We're taking seven. I think we're just dead. So we have to for sure block here, block here, block here, take eight. It's definitely not ideal. And if we're going to survive anything, we have to draw a blue source here. And I don't even, I think if we draw a blue source, I don't even think it matters at this point. Oh, wow, we finally drew a blue source. All right, so we can activate Frostwalk. We can play String Appearance. Yeah, 
I don't I don't think it matters at all. All right, good game opponent. That's unfortunate. So sideboarding. Hopefully we have better luck this game. I don't think there's anything I really want out of the sideboard. I think we just want to run it back and then hopefully we have all our mana sources this game. I don't even want to do that, I don't think. Yeah, maybe I do. Seven and eight. I mean, we have... Oop. Yes, I'd like to play first. Again, we don't have any blue sources, which is annoying. I'm going to keep this hand, though. Alright, we'll pass the turn back here. We have this Defile. We have the... Uh, Bastion, which I don't think is going to matter. Alright, this changeling is important. Hopefully, we don't just die to something silly. Man, oh man, this blue, not having this blue source is killing me. I don't understand why. Maybe I need the, the 17th land. Sack it, put two counters on a creature. Okay. All right, I would like any land off the top of my deck. Thank you. All right, I'm going to attack. Now I'm going to ninjutsu. There we go. Now we have some decent abilities coming. Could have recast the changeling there. I did leave up the file. Uh, that was kind of a misplay on my part. Uh, because if I would have played the changeling, we could have uh, ninjutsued the ninja of the new moon. Deals X damage to target creature and each creature they control. I'm going to defile that. See, that was my plan all along, everyone. I wanted to defile that rat. And the rat's going to kill the illusion. But then we're just going to make another illusion with the shinobi, which is no big deal. All right, so I think here... I play the outcast and I probably just enchant and then I attack everything and then we just beat them down with some flyers all right this is how our deck is supposed to play out uh, game one was really really bad we just never found a blue source in six or seven lands that we found I might play uh, 41 cards and just add a blue source. Especially since we're playing this Bastion. Alright, so as long as our opponent doesn't have a board wipe, which I don't know if it exists. Uh, search your library for a basic land, put it on the battlefield. Alright, that's probably fine. Forest. Forest. 
Yeah, I'll put it into your hand. Okay. So they drew a card, found a forest. And next turn they're actually dead if they don't have a flyer. Okay. So this is our game here. So I'm going to play a land, move the combat, attack with everything, uh, move to blocks, then ninjutsu this guy in. All right, and that's 11. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play another island. I think it's really, uh, really crazy we're not drawing our islands, and our blue spells are some of our most powerful cards. Um, now if we flood out, I'm going <laughs> to whine too, so hopefully you don't mind. Um, Alright, this looks like a good, keepable hand. So we're going to keep this. So our opponent mulligan down to 5 this game. They did put one card on top of their library. Uh, we have Diabolic Edict and this Outcast. Uh, looks like they're missing lands. That's unfortunate. We don't have an aggressive start, so we can't punish them for missing their land drops, but... Alright, they ended up conceding. So, good game opponent, and... Stay tuned for match number two. Thank you so much for watching. Please go hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed today's video. For your custom play mats, mouse pads, and more, head over to Inked Gaming. Use promo code CROCODILEMTG10 to receive 10% off your order. Today's video was brought to you by all our wonderful sponsors, affiliates, and patrons.